Dan Peterson and his crew are on day two of a week-long painting project. If you'd rather do a different color, you can. Their mission is to transform two basketball courts at New Rochelle's Lincoln Park. We're also finding that the the color and the shape and the vibrancy really invites a lot more families. Peterson is the founder of Project Backboard, a nonprofit that works with artists to redesign public outdoor basketball courts across the country. By having a unique work of art, it really changes the community's relationship with the space. It's not just, you know, a vanity project. It's it's the art has a real the color and the shape has a real impact on the way people will care for this park going forward. The two courts were in such bad shape they had to be paved over before the group could even begin. Once it's complete, the designs will show off the city's initials in abstract letters, NRNY for New Rochelle, New York. It's a really beautiful geometric design with a, a lot of bright colors. This is phase four of six steps to revitalize Lincoln Park completely. We're building it back and reven renovating it in phases. It's a community that uh, deserves, deserves um, the best that we can offer. In June, the city unveiled a new playground near the courts, and the next step is to redo the baseball field. Parents are elated. It's amazing to see the park, the new face of the park, because they are going to enjoy it. I think it's going to be a little bit safer. Safer and more alive than ever before. But it's going to be uh, packed sun up to sundown. It's due to be finished this Saturday. Until then, these paint rollers will be spinning all week. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. The NBA Players Association Foundation donated $20,000 to pay for those courts. The city then matched their contribution.